Hi guys, welcome to Code Artisan Lab. This is video number 36 for gym management system in Django. And in this video, we are going to talk about the two things. Okay, the first thing is why we need the Django channels. Because uh, from this video, we are going to uh, start with the channel, Django channels. Okay, and uh, how we can set up the Django channels. So the first question is why we need that. Okay, so let's understand our uh, understand our requirement. Okay, so I have a uh, here I have run the project. So let's open this in browser. Okay, so here in the browser and I will logged in as a train. Okay, so now we have notification panel. Okay, so <clears throat> if you remember, we have created the notification in a user panel. If we logged in a user panel and uh, you can see that uh, in the notification section our user pan our this right section is refreshing uh, in every 5 seconds or 10 seconds okay i it means i am fetching i am fetching the data from the database in every 5 or 10 seconds okay so i am uh, continuously uh, requesting the server to give me data to give me data okay but so so i am just uh, we need that solution if data is inserted in the database it automatically show here okay we need that thing okay so for that thing we need web sockets okay you can say we need any service that uh, that will run in the background okay and if any data inserted in the database then that should be sent at the front end okay so we can achieve with the web sockets and uh, in django we use the channels okay we use the django channels package that is similar you can say uh, uh, you can say the layer of web sockets okay that is based on the web sockets uh, the according to the python and according to the, all the things okay uh, we are going to use django channels for our notification for our messages okay without refreshing the page so whenever data is inserted and updated so that we can send the data okay from the web ser web socket server to http server okay so so that we need this web socket thing so that we are doing the django channels okay so <clears throat> here i think i have explained that why we need this okay just a best just very basic okay if you want to explore more then there are lots of definition lots of uh, books you can read that okay now how we can use django channels so as i said django channel is a uh, package for using the web sockets okay so how we can set up this uh, django channels okay and here one more thing is uh, our normal uh, our normal protocol for the website is http http protocol or you can say the web server uh, gateway interface okay and but if we are working with the uh, if we are working with the django channels then we will work as a asgi normally we work as a WSGI but in the but in the web socket we work as a ASGI a synchronized server gateway interface okay so so this is also the thing and uh, you can read the definition all the things okay in the on the uh, internet okay there are lots of definition and all the things so these are the two uh, the difference is main two protocol is HTTP is a stateless and uh, uh, in the other side uh, web socket is a very it's it, it is not stateless when we request the server then it uh, the server and the client binds together okay bind together and uh, receive and send uh, uh, just bind together and receive and send the request uh, send the response send the request send the response okay and they are bind together but in the http protocol they are stateless we request the server server send the data okay and just we request the server and server response as the data okay and just uh, disconnect the connection okay again we request the server again they, uh, they will send the data okay so that thing so main difference is the uh, protocol that that is a stateless and it is not stateless okay so how we can set up the django channels the main thing is how we can set up the django channels so the very it's a very easy setup okay you can just install the django channels okay here you can see that they have explained very beautifully everything so you need to install that pip install channels okay and then 
uh, you need to add the channels in your uh, in your setting.py file so let's add this so i have already installed that okay so i have added this django channels then currently we are running with the web server gateway interface wsgi okay but we will comment this and then we will run with our asgi okay so asgi and then here it will be asgi and everything will be remain same okay i will show you what tools we need when we go further i will show you everything okay so <clears throat> now let's run the server again so when we run the server so here you can see that it is saying that starting asgi channels version 3 development server is this now channels is set up with our application okay now we need to uh, work with the routing work with the consumers like uh, consumer is same as views and uh, uh, routing is same as our urls okay we will see those things we will create those things in our next video okay so maybe this channels i i, I want to uh, i want to explain channels in detail so maybe uh, we will create three to four videos for this uh, notification or messages section okay so that we can understand uh, very uh, we can understand this uh, in this way so that uh, we can implement the everything very perfectly okay so <clears throat> in the next video we will create the consumers we will see that how we can route that how we can uh, uh, work with the uh, with the HTTP with the web socket, okay, and uh, with the front end uh, parts because how we can send the uh, how we can send the request from client to server, client to consumers, and all the things, okay. So in the next video we will create consumers and URLs, okay. So thanks for watching this video. Thank you so much. Uh, let's let's meet in the next video.